For everyone tuning in, I am Man of Interest, bringing you today's keyboards happenings on Mech Key Radio. This week in keyboards. Starting this week, have you seen them fizz caps? Last time I checked, bubbles were a no-go in artisans, but now it looks like everyone's quite shaken up and ready for that fizz. Why are so people so hyped for purposely defective keycaps? Aesthetics. Speaking of artisans, Mitch Caps showed off some really, really cool AJHKB modifiers this week, and I think they're quite groovy. Definitely gives me a spacefaring vibe. Makes me want to go get another AJHKB. Over on Mass Shop, there's a sale for the best 60% case for the price. It's high profile, as a stainless steel insert, giving a nice and hefty weight. And did I mention it's $60? It'll be shipping in June, but if you want to pay an extra $10 to $15 more and have it sooner, you could order it from AliExpress or Taobao. Um, myself and my co-host for Top Clack, Quakums, we both highly, highly recommend this case, especially for its price. Moving on, looks like we got some peace in the Middle East with the Tel Aviv meetup. Alt shift on April 12th. I can't wait to see your awesome pictures and all your faces of having a great time. Jakarta just had their third meetup, which looked awesome. It's always great seeing these meetups all around the world. I know in Dallas, there's a mini meetup as well. And speaking of meetups, I'll read it for the millionth time. I will be attending the Seattle meetup, where there might finally be a live, live Top Clack episode. Hype. What else happened this week? Mm, lots of chocolate and lots of brown. That must mean chocolate chair is shipped. How unfortunate we must endure seeing all this brown on our sub. If I wanted to see a block of brown, I would have just showed you guys at my dinner last night. But speaking of shipped things, SA camping is on that list. Smokey the Bear said only you can prevent forest fires, but I don't think that's going to be much of an issue since SA camping isn't exactly fire as sets go. And I know a lot of listeners of the show like small things. Keycaps, keyboard, keyboard, people. The Ace XT40 is probably up your alley then. It's a plane compatible 40% high profile case. This is what everybody should be using for my for their plank if they had a choice. 135 bucks for the plate and case, and only 150 to include the PCB. Count this cool kit in. Sure, I still need to get some switches and stabilizer if I choose to do the 2U middle, but I think it's gonna be fine. Hurry up before all the available spots fill up. I hear there's no round two. Now moving on, let's switch our show over to our callers section. We're always here and we love your question and comment. So leave us a ring at our number or comment below. Let's talk the talk. We have our first caller today. Pleasure to meet you and how are you doing today? Yo, DJ Keeby Keeb. It's your boy Easy Keeb. I just spilled some drink on my baller keyboard. What do? Yo, my man Easy Keeb. Homie, all you gotta do is follow Ripster's spill guide. Depending on your board and the extent of the spill, there are a lot of things you could possibly do. But check that guide first. Thank you for the call, Easy Keeb. Who else do we have calling today? Dr. Kibi Keeb. It's Romeo Works here, the most attractive man in RMK, a.k.a. Mr. My Wife Said It's Okay If It's With You, Romeo. Thanks so much, Romeo Works. What's up with you today? Man, for my own projects to everyone else's group buys, how is a homie keep hustling? How do I know what's what, what's when, and when's what? True that, true that. So there are so many group buys today from so many vendors and sources. The easiest way to keep it real is to regularly check Mech Market as well as the Group by section of GeekHack. Maintaining Group by information through old school forums like GeekHack really makes it easy for most people to watch out for current buys as well as to get updates on the buys they're waiting for. And if you're wondering what else the community is brewing, keep in lookout for interest checks on RMK, Mech Market, as well as the interest check sub forum on GeekHack. Using all these sources together will help you find out what's what, what's when, and when's what. Great question, Romeo Works. Keep up the great work, playa. That'll be all for now, but we'll be taking questions in future episodes. Feel free to ask away in the comment section and keep yo boy here, man of interests, busy and I'll hook you up. So it's pretty poppin', but the round two group buy for the aluminum Nova Touch case is currently going on. Round one came and shipped so quickly and was received so positively. I'm pretty hyped for this group buy. Makes me happy I held on to one of my Nova Touches so I can pimp it out with a nice case. You should all check out this group buy if you're looking to upgrade the case on your NovaTouch, RapidEye, or Master Keys Pro S. Prices range between $200 and $320, depending on how baller you want the finish to be. So what's happening around the world as well? Hasu, the man from Japan, brought us the goodies like the Alp64 PCB, as well as the alternate controllers for the HHKB. Now, he's back with the FC660C Alternative Controller Group Buy. What does this mean? With this controller, you can fully reprogram your F660C, the insert key, blam, it's something useful now. And the great thing about this controller is there's no soldering to install it. You just detach your previous controller and attach this new one. 
It's $34 for the controller and $6 to ship to the US. Overall, that's a great price to transform your FC660C into a true endgame keyboard. Now you got control of everything TMK has to offer. Damn, now I need to get another FC660C for this because mm, that steel plate. Well, that's it for the show today. But if you're ever looking for more content, check out everything else on this YouTube channel. Not limited to, but including my new song, Weeb with a Keeb, as well as my typing videos and future reviews. Enjoy your day. Have a great one.